apartment and if you're not sure where I went I drove up to see my family for a little bit for the past four or five months I've just been staying at home and so have my parents so I thought that it would be safe for us to just kind of stay at home together um, and that's what we did I didn't do much I didn't really film while I was there all I did was make coffee jelly, watch movies with my brother and sister, and helped my mom with the yard work. Now that I'm back, I thought it would be fun to do a little vlog to check in on my plants. Uh, sometimes when I travel, I'll get questions about what I do to keep my plants alive while I'm gone, and honestly just give them a really big watering before I leave, and I hope for the best, so let's check in on them. <laughs> plant wall. I'm very pleasantly surprised that these plants are doing okay, especially this paper plant. This one was giving me a lot of trouble before I left. There are some brown spots, but this one I feel like grew a lot taller and there's a lot of new growth in there. The soil wasn't even completely dried out when I came home, so this one's doing okay. There's a couple dead leaves at the bottom, but I'll just hack those off. This rattlesnake plant is still thriving, luckily. There are a couple weird leaves, but that's okay. I feel like that's really normal. It doesn't really look any different than the way that I left it. Still looks very healthy. I think that one will be all right. Spider plant and one of my Brazil philodendrons. Still looking really good. This one is just overgrown I feel like at this point I think I need to put it in a different pot because it's getting a little bit crazy there's another pup growing it's this huge one right here that one's okay and I think on the wall that this one is the only one that's kind of a little sad looking you can see the leaves are kind of curling in so I'm gonna have to give this one a little bit of extra attention. I think the leaves are starting to turn yellow in some places. There's some dead ones, but I think all in all I can save this one as well. That one's doing fine. Now onto the not so lucky plants. I had a couple new ones that I had just added uh, before I left. Well, not too new. They're maybe a couple months old, but this deeper plant is just <laughs> completely dead. I don't think there's any saving this one. The stem just looks it just does not feel it feels very mushy uh, the leaves are just completely dead so i think that one is out this one is my medallion prayer plant and this one is looking okay uh, all of the leaves were looking like this when i first came home i gave it a drink of water because i thought it desperately needed it and these leaves kind of perked back up i think i'm just gonna cut off these dead ones because that just does not look <laughs> that does not look nice and those ones are just dead i don't think there's any saving those leaves but these ones still look pretty okay my coffee plant is looking really sad really wilted and dry uh, but i think i can save it because there's some there's some leaves in there that look okay and the stems are looking all right as well so i think i can save that one Sadly, maiden hair fern is not not thriving. I actually have two of these and I don't know what happened because I added these stakes with um, bottles of water to keep the soil moist. Uh, this is my first time trying this. I've never done this before, but this is the only plant that I water every day or every other day. So I, I definitely was worried that this one was 
gonna be dead when I got home. I'm not surprised, but I am surprised that this one is still alive. I'm really not sure why. I, maybe I did this incorrectly, but the bottle was empty when I got home. I just refilled this one. This one was also empty, but this one is still green and thriving, and this one is not. And they're the same plant, so I don't know what I did there. If you have any ideas, let me know because I'd like to come home to this next time instead of that. I think I can save this one though. Well, maybe. I've had a couple of maiden hair ferns before, like long, long time ago. And uh, what I do is just, I just cut down to the stem, almost to the soil, and then keep the soil moist. And if it's still alive, it should re-sprout. So I'm gonna try that and see if that works. This one is my prayer plant. I think this one is still doing really, really well. The color is super nice and it's still flowering, which I'm very happy about. That one's okay. There are a couple dry spots that I'll just cut off. I always, I always cut off the dead leaves of this one and this one doesn't have too many. There's a couple right there, a couple right there. That one's okay. And then this one is my Rosso, Rosso. I don't know how to say any of the plant names. Peperomia, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but this one's looking all right. The leaves are, I can tell that the color is not the same as when I left. It was a little bit of a darker green and it had these sprouts, I guess, coming out of it. Those are all gone, but I think I can bring that one back to life. My hydroponic plants are doing fine because they don't need anything. Just a closer look, this is another Brazil philodendron. I also have another one over there. All doing fine. Spider plants, more pothos, and those look very leafy and green. And planty is just getting super, super, super long. The lighting is kind of bad and I definitely need to rearrange the leaves because that's looking kind of weird. Um, but this one's pretty healthy still. If you look really close, the leaves look okay. I can see a little bit of a color change. They look a little bit lighter than when I left. And I can see some yellow leaves. I think that one will be fine. Money tree is looking great. I can't believe how big this one has gotten. I got this one as a baby and this leaf is as big as my hand now. That's pretty. This one, my Kentia palm, I was very worried about because it's my most expensive plant and I usually mist this one pretty often because it needs a lot of humidity. And you can see there are some dead leaves here. So, kind of sad about that. And it looks like part of the heart is very dry, but I'm gonna be optimistic because another part of the heart is still green and thriving. So I think if I just watch this one, make sure to keep the soil moist, keep the humidity high on this one, I think I can save this one as well. I will be really upset if this one dies. Um, I've never spent this much on a plant, but I just really wanted this one. So I'm gonna try and see if I can save that. Kitchen pothos is looking absolutely fine. This one, I can't even tell that I left it for two weeks. It's, I think it's even grown more than when I left. It's just, soil's fine and the leaves are just looking really healthy. So I think that one's gonna be absolutely fine. String of pearls, bane of my existence. Oh, it's looking a little stringy and dry in there, but I think that one, I'm just gonna have to keep watching this one. I've tried to bottom water this one um, from, some of you guys gave me some tips on how to keep this one alive and there is some growth there. And I've noticed that ever since I moved this to this spot in the kitchen, sorry, it's really dirty. <laughs> I've noticed that the pearls have gotten even bigger. So I think I'm doing something right, but I don't know, we'll see. Herbs are looking a little bit sad. I'm not surprised about that one though. Uh, the basil is looking fine. I feel like the leaves are a little bit lighter than the last time. I think I just have to change the water. Catnip is looking kind of sad. It looked much fuller when I left, but it is flowering. So I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Uh, but that one's looking okay. And then this peppermint looking very sad and the rest are just, I'm not even gonna show you those ones because 
Uh, those ones are just dead, I think. I think I have to start over. Baby rubber plant looking good. A little bit hard to see in here, but trust me, these bathroom plants are flourishing, so that is good. <laughs> So now I think I'm just gonna cut off the really dried looking leaves. I usually do this anyway. Um, whenever I see kind of a drier, dead leaf, I just kind of get rid of it. One, because I don't like the way it looks and I mean, I've heard that that helps plant growth. I'm actually gonna have Raleigh cut it because I'm not comfortable cutting this one and he has more experience than I do. So what did you say about this one? You don't think this one's gonna survive? I don't think this one's gonna survive, but I think this is the heart. So maybe if we're lucky, it might grow out of it. But this is like what it was growing. Not that long ago, but it's, it's dead. Should we maybe leave that one alone? It's pretty gone. Like it's brown all the way to the base. So should we just cut it off at the base? Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off as close as I can without like okay. damaging anything else if possible. If this is wrong, I'm so sorry for the plant abuse. <laughs> There's just no saving these. <laughs> look after two weeks of absolutely no care I was really expecting to come home to just completely dead plants I thought I was gonna have to start all over if you have any plant tips please let me know if I committed any plant abuse please let me know as well so I can be more mindful of that in the future and I will see you guys in the next video bye